It is the moment we have all been waiting for. The return of my good friend and everybody's favorite XAR podcast co-host on the other side of the screen. Say hello to Mr. Neff Canuck. Hello, sir. Good evening, sir. How are you? Oh, uh, I'm peachy keen, and I'm sure everybody is as well, now that we uh, see your face for the first time in, uh, well, it's been uh, over two months, hasn't it? Yeah, about a month, in, well, about eh, a week, month in the hospital, and now a month and a bit in rehab. Mm. And how are you feeling? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm still on a regimen of painkillers for the most part during the day, because... Physiotherapy for a shattered shoulder is not pleasant, mm. is not painless, right. and leaves you at the end of the day feeling like, okay, I just want to tear it off and just you know, go about my merry way. Oh, boy. So, yeah, we all miss you, and I'm sure everybody sends their regards and well wishes to you, as we do all the time when we do the streams. Um, so just, um, Neff, I mean, we saw you at the end of March, and then a few days after that, actually pretty close to my birthday, I think, is when you had the injury. Yeah, I think it was literally the day before because it was March. Yeah, it was March 31st mm. where I managed to do this while trying to do laundry. Oh, man. If you can believe it, folks. <laughs> literally had a laundry basket in my hand, was making my way into the kitchen, wearing proper footwear because i have fallen before and mm. i have had this drilled into my head yeah wear proper footwear and literally slipped on something literally pitched forward and the doorway leading to my laundry room on suite uh has a steel frame so imagine your shoulder blade hitting that steel frame oh man yeah Let's just say I have pictures of what is supposed to be my shoulder blade. There's nothing there. Oh, wow. It's literally gonzo. So they had to literally rebuild me from scratch as far as the shoulder blade and the socket is concerned. Oh, gee. Yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> well, I guess I could say the same thing about my hip because what was my hip isn't there anymore. <laughs> just replaced by one big uh, fake part. One big fake part. Now, the, the, the trick with the shoulder is this. Because of all the tendons that run through your shoulder, mm -hmm. you don't realize, okay, wait a minute here. This should be a piece of cake. Just put, you know, the, the new shoulder in, rebuild the shoulder blade, and away you go. Mm -hmm. No, that's not how it works. Because the tendons are act like a series of pulleys. Mm -hmm. So right now, my biggest problem, excuse me, is that for part of my arms travel, it's completely normal. Mm. But for example, if I tried to stick my arm straight out in front of me, as if to give someone a handshake, no. Because the tendons up here in the shoulder uh -huh. are just not doing their job at this point. Oh, gee. So that's what physiotherapy is for, to activate those tendons again mm -hmm. and say, hey, wait a minute here, you have a job to do. You can't just lay there and do nothing, right. you know, like your average politician. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but um, just um, to reiterate, folks, uh, Neff is still in rehabilitation on the day we're recording this. Um, that's why um, we are doing this pre-record and not live, because... Uh, uh, in the event that uh, Neff has to step away. He is in a um, uh, rehab setting, so you'll get visits from time to time, right? Yes, uh, although this time of night, it'll usually be for things like medications, for example, eye drops, uh, painkillers. And uh, the trick is I've managed to convince them to let me stay up to a reasonable hour. In this case, that would be 9 p.m. Eastern Standard, Eastern Daylight Time. Mm. Uh, had me going to bed at 8 p.m., which I have not done since the last century. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I have also uh, turned off the HVAC system because it is very noisy, as it is very old. Uh, it would make enough noise that you probably couldn't hear me over 
uh, as, oh, as really? it tries to do its thing. Oh. oh, it's 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 very old. In fact, um, one of the uh, personal support workers, or PSWs as they're called here, uh, mentioned that they had been requesting that they'd been changed as long as two years ago with hmm. no response. So, <laughs> yeah, fun times. Um, one other thing we'll mention, uh, at some point, uh, the connection may drop simply because while the Wi-Fi in here works 90% of the time, it's that 10% where it's completely randomly dropping me for no reason whatsoever. Yes, and uh, hopefully if we edited this correctly, you will not recognize it because we did have a little bit of an issue a few minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, the funny thing is, though, the, the uh, restrictions on the websites you can visit are almost nil here. Oh. As, as compared to the hospital, which were very, very restrictive. And very annoying. Like, uh, could you get into Kotaku or something like that? Well, no. What was happening was most of the streaming sites, uh, the Canadian ones you could get into, no problem. Anything that was uh, outside of Canada mm. was very hit and miss. Mm. Uh, I do have time to watch certain things now, except A, with a roommate, it's not always possible to watch certain things. And B, by the time you remember to watch them, You've already been spoiled because, of course, internet and, you know, people watch and... Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, and by the way, folks, it did happen again. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, uh, unfortunately, folks, this will probably mark one of the worst uh, streams in terms of <laughs> random stops and starts. Because, again, if it works, ever, if everything works perfectly, the stream is rock solid, we could go for an hour. But literally, we could go through a spate of half hour where, you know, every two minutes, drop, drop, drop. Yeah, so I'm going to keep things rolling in that case. Yeah, you just might as well keep rolling. <laughs> okay, well, I think there's a Discord bug. The there's Discord... Discord? Yes, because, well, the dropping is not the, that's the thing. What's happening with Discord is this. When it comes back, for some reason, I have to force again to say, listen to, l use the microphone array in the, uh, oh. in the laptop. For some reason, this laptop does not pick up the microphone capabilities uh. of the headset I'm wearing, which is really weird because right. I can make calls with this stupid headset. No problem. Right. Well, do you want to try to continue or just try to Let's wrap this? Let's continue as long as, as long as you're up to it, sir. Okay. All right. I have at least a half an hour till they'll come trying to give me some medicine. <laughs> Cause I have I've completely lost track at this point. Well, let's let's just say it's like this. Uh, I was talking about you know the fact that okay, there are certain things I can do now, and certain things I can't. Again, one of them is watch. You know what I want to watch with a roommate. It's kind of difficult, although the the, con the headphones I'm using are actually a godsend for that because these are bone conduction, mm. meaning that nobody else hears it. Wow. They might hear a little bit of... But they don't actually hear what you know I'm actually listening to properly. That, that's something you mentioned uh, on a previous show, I think. We, we spoke about this a little bit. Yeah. Um, as I said, I, brought, I had them brought with, with me with the laptop because I thought maybe I could try it. Maybe it would work. Okay. Turns out it does work, you know. And as I said, it allows me to watch some things. Uh, not anime yet. I haven't had the courage to actually watch, you know, anything uh, even slightly racy with a roommate. <laughs> and I don't know how long I'm going to be without a roommate. So if, it's, if it gets to the weekend, and I don't have to worry about, you know, people coming in and saying, okay, come do physio or come do this, mm -hmm. then I might just say, okay, you know what? Let me watch some anime. Mm -hmm. What I have been doing is reading manga. Uh, including some stuff that I'm rereading, uh, new volumes of other things that have come, that have come out. Uh, for example, the hidden dungeon only I can enter. Okay. It's now produced another volume. Um, or my my current one is uh, my room is a dungeon rest stop. <laughs> the new volume of that came out, and I'm just rereading from the back because it's been a while. I want to refresh my memory, mm. you know, because it's as holy as you know Swiss cheese at points. Yeah. Ugh. Speaking of which, we when you come back and we go back to live streams, we got to finish Ace Attorney. If you remember where we left off in Ace Attorney, 
Oh no. Okay, and I, I'm checking, and uh oh, looks like the Wi-Fi. This time it looks like the Wi-Fi just you know. Oh, when I lost you last time. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so wait a minute. You're still hearing me? Yeah. Okay, because now, now, uh, task manager is claiming the Wi-Fi is dead. <laughs> okay, this. Oh, I'm, I, I don't know what to tell you, boss, but I can tell uh -huh. you this. This, this is a live. This is a live podcast with an unknown Wi-Fi, <laughs> and obviously, it is not meant for what we're doing tonight. And I apologize, folks, because this is the best I can do. At least until I get out of here. Now, as to when I will get out of here, that depends on a couple of factors. Number one, I will be meeting with the Fracture Clinic again on July 22nd, or not uh, June 22nd, rather. And at that time, they will tell me whether or not I'm healed up enough to do what is called external rotation of my shoulder. Now, what does that mean in plain English? It mm -hmm. means, can I put my hand behind my back? Okay. That is the thing that is stopping me right now from going home. Now, you might ask yourself, why, does, why is not being able to put your hand behind your back a uh, barrier to going home? Let me ask you this. Try to put on a shirt without at least putting one hand behind your back while doing it. A button-up shirt. Yeah. Or any shirt for that matter. You're not doing it. All right. That's the and that is the PG that is the P or G even rated version of why I can't go home. Oh man. Pimp Daddy Moroku version is that there is a number two that I cannot do. If I cannot, you know, put my hand where it needs to go. So needless to say, yeah, until that's resolved. Now somebody, you know, being smart, and I'm going to use air quotes on that, said, well, why don't you have a bidet? And I'm going, a bidet would not solve the problem. Mm. Not not in the least. You still have to get to the buttons, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> get to the buttons and get to the bottom of things. Literally. Literally. Like, like the internet just went to the bottom. <laughs> oh, no. As I was saying, the, the plan is, of course, uh, June 22nd, see the Fracture Clinic, find out what they tell me. Uh, if, they good, if it's good news, then I will be, you know, transitioned home before or on July 17th, because mm -hmm. that's the 90-day limit to stay in the rehab program here. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully without the need of a personal support worker, uh, because then that means I'm basically back to my activities of daily living, which in this case will, of course, mean my job. Yuck. And mm. dealing with a car that has sat for three to four months now. Double yuck. Uh, and I say boy. double yuck. And I say double yuck because I know the battery, the 12 volt battery's dead. Uh, it needed an oil change, and it's still on the winter tires, which are probably flatter than the top of my head. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's going to be a bit of a, a bit of a mess. I can probably get the tires inflated, get it to the dealership, and then see how much it's going to cost me to put things back together again. Mm -hmm. A new battery is probably, if I buy the battery I need to buy, probably three, four hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's one of those costs where it's like, okay, do it, because you need to be mobile. Because that was the other thing. Uh, I'm not quite sure what's going on. Uh, it is showing that it is uh, transmitting and it is receiving. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm not quite sure why it is doing the weird things it's doing. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's transmitting at, it says 3.6 megabytes, or 6 megabits per second is what it's saying. Okay. Which should be more than enough. But I don't know what's going on. I can't, I can't tell you. So right. I can only say it is a shared network. It is a network that I do not control. And that is one of the things I will not miss about this place. Because when I get home, I will have rock solid, stable internet that won't drive me to drink. <laughs> which, by the way, which, by the way, I can't do here. Yeah, well, that's uh, what I figured. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, huh? Sigh, leave. Yeah. I again miss you all. I miss being on the podcast with you, Jr. And I just miss being able to do things for myself. Mm. 
because th th this this has taught me I've I've taken for granted how independent I actually am considering all my other issues because you've never you ever had your independence taken away from you quite like this and then realize yeah I want it back. Mm. Well, uh, we all miss you, and um, my family sends you their regards as well, and I'm sure everybody watching uh, this recording does the same as well. And, uh, yeah, we hope uh, you, you can uh, get out and go back to your place, and uh, whenever you're ready, uh, we'll do a podcast. Even if I'm upstate, we'll figure something out, and uh, we'll try to finish Ace Attorney, gosh darn it. We'll finish it one way or the other. Now, whether or not, you know, the main character gets disbarred, <laughs> I don't want to guess at this point. I just don't. Yeah. So, uh, all right. So we We're are... We're about to wrap up. As you can see, uh, Neff's uh, being called for something right now. So, Neff, thank you so much for joining us. Really appreciate it. And uh, we will see you soon, hopefully in better settings. Thank you very much, folks. And we'll see you next time.